Welcome to Game on Mole. It's the uh, game show that gets you thinking, is my teammate actively trying to sink us or are they just some sort of saucy fool? We have two teams playing against each other in a battle of wits. This week, we have our team captains, Dicko, and we're so lucky to have the amazing Ruby Fields uh, paired with one of the best bands in the country. It's Zach and Billy from Hockey Dad. One person is randomly and secretly designated as the mole. They could be on either team. Even I don't know who it bloody is. Their job is to make their team lose and remain undetected. Being caught as the mole will have dire consequences. I'm your host, Damon Clark. Let's get into Let's get moly, baby. And the music plays. Get moly. Yeah, you like that? I'm trying that you out. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Check actually. your moles. Like that. Check your, oh, like you okay. like that? <laughs> Check your moles. We've got our original Australian Idol judge and creator of the Big Tico from Dicko. It's Dicko. How are you going, Dicko? All right, uh, kid. Boston, that's Birmingham speak, that is. I was going to say, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's uh, you would have remembered that from your touring young people with mm. guitars. I think I heard that just before I got mugged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't leave that time with, with your training shoes. <laughs> it's been barefoot for the rest of the tour. <laughs> it's been a little uh, while since I've seen you, Dicko. What have you been up to over the last few weeks? Oh, I've been staying up late watching the first Ashes test from Birmingham, my hometown, mm-hmm. and uh, a fantastic... Uh, end to the uh, match it was down to the last few overs. So How, yeah, doing old people stuff basically. Yeah. How yeah. late did you stay up on that uh, last on evening? The, I stayed up till quarter to four to the last. Whoa, one. really? So, yeah. I lasted Good. till about one a.m. and I was yeah. like, "That'll do." You've me definitely anything. had a few nights where you've been up till quarter to four. Though, I've, I've, I've had a few <laughs> nights where I've stayed up three days solid <laughs> in a row, basically and watching the ashes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah obviously, yeah, generally <laughs> been crawling the walls and weeping like a child. At the end of it, but yeah, I've had my moments, Ruby. Yeah. Well, up against Dicko, we've got singer songwriter Ruby Fields. How are you doing, Ruby? Really good. Last time I saw you was at the uh, Not on Your Rider show, uh, the Christmas show. Mm-hmm. What have you been up to since then? You know, when you just everything leaves your brain yeah. as soon as someone no. asks you that question. Not too much. Just been working on the new album, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, lots of writing, and finally back on tour with the boys. Obviously, we haven't toured in a while. What are you going to say, Digger? Ruby, have you got any more crazy left field ink on your body? Um, because you have got some batshit crazy tats. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've gotten a new one in ages. I don't know if I had that the last time. Gandalf. Oh, it's a little wizard. Yeah, my little. It's actually not Gandalf. It's Ramastamo, which is one of the blue wizards they don't talk about in the movies, but are in the books. All oh, right, there you yeah. go. I'll She's, stick with Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you fucking nerd. <laughs> of course, you've got your wombat as well. Yes, my fast as fuck. Wombat, which was because Pat went on stage once and his first show with me was super nervous and was meant to say this fact about Wombats but actually ended up saying, like, Wombats are fast as fuck. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you went, I've got to immortalise that. Yeah, I've got to immortalise that on with, my a body. Wom- with a Wombat wearing sneakers. <laughs> and people might not know this about you, but you're actually a massive loser too. Um, L- Luthier? Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to make it sound like loser. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you paying out people with lisps now? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yes, nobody's yes. safe. Um, <laughs> have you been uh, still doing that? Are you still making guitars? No, so I'm actually moving back to Sydney mm. in about a month to start doing that work full time with Freddie again. Really? Full time guitar making? Yeah, so about four to five days a week mm. and then um, staying down at my parents' place. But yeah, I, I think we did an episode of Fred Shed with the boys. It was like mm. the only one we released where we put a freezer in a, uh, sorry, we put an amp in a freezer. And we haven't been able to do more episodes because I've been living up here. So I'm very excited to move home so we can do more of those episodes of just creating things in the shed. Are you um Are you ever amazed at how few guitarists, like professional guitarists, professional guitarists don't know how to change strings? It's actually, it's one of those things that you, it's going to sound very pretentious, but it's a really fine art to how you restring a guitar and so many people do it wrong. Mm. Yeah. What's your, what's your method? It's Freddie. I can't. I'll tell you after. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so what? All right. What are the big mistakes? What are the big things that you go, uh, uh, look? They're doing that wrong, the idiot. I think one of the biggest ones is when when you're um winding up when people don't push the strings together and there's gaps because then as soon as you start playing and like giving a bit of room to the string, it all like snap into place and then it's like thrown out all the other things that you've put into the, the guitar, like um, just the, like tuning and everything. It's an easy fix, but it's still just probably one of the worst ones. Mm-hmm. And I hate, one of my pet hates is when someone reached I'm so sorry if this is you. I actually don't know. <laughs> no, that's right. Let's but, um, but, you know, He's, when someone. He has gone a bit thin-lipped. <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> when someone restrings a guitar 
if it's in the moment and it's live, it's sure no one's got time. Already, no but when, but when they leave, the not cutting off. the strings off and they leave it like that, and yeah. when you can see it, like them all flying around, and I'm hey, like, I'll oh. take your eye out. That's yeah, dangerous. it's dangerous. Is that like more common with acoustic guitars? I feel. No, I, I feel like it's even uglier on an acoustic. Yeah, yeah it's way I, uglier I on an acoustic. I feel like I've seen that way more often than electric, like yeah. just big dangly strings. Is that yeah. like the guitarist version of toilet roll hanging out of the back of your knickers? Long fingernails, <laughs> or, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Toilet like you really on top of the toilet, not on the actual You toilet. just, you look yeah. at someone like that and you go, fuck, you really haven't got your shit together. Sort of you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, like, our guest today, the two members of our Hockey Dad, it's Zach and Billy. Zach is on team uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Billy's on Team Digger. We swapped it around from what I originally intended. But that's all right. Uh, what's it? What's it like touring as a two piece? It must be great. Yeah, well, it's been good, but we've actually uh, got an additional member now. We've oh got a bass player for the first time Ooh. in ever. I know. Yeah, we've gone from the sold um, out. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. But yeah, I think Zach just um, got barred uh, got barred of board chords. Got bored of barred chords. So yeah. I think yeah. he needed to migrate into solo realm. Yeah, I could, couldn't yeah. bust out any solos with just two of us. But um, yeah, Steve has been playing bass with us for like two years now. Yeah. Yeah. Just like doing live shows with us. Makes it so much easier for me. I don't have to compensate for no bass and can just play guitar like What was your setup normally. before? Uh, I had a, my guitar was split into a, Two guitar amps and a bass amp. Yeah, that's right. Just mm. gonna turn the bass all the way up and the treble all the way down. The bass mm. amp. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So were Royal Blood yeah. a big influence for you then? No, we were. Right. We were out before. People must Royal ask Blood. you out of the oh. We were a big influence on Royal Blood. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a few two bits like band Slaves as well. They're, oh, they're Slaves. Two-piece. I mean, we. I think they're called Soft Play now. They yeah, changed their name. They're, they're, they got cancelled for that name. Yeah, we, we preach at the altar of DZ Death Rays when they were the original. Yeah. Two-piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Kind of learnt from them. Yeah, definitely. So the, yeah, there was um, there was a band in the eighties in Britain called Carter the Unstoppable Sex Machine. Yeah, I know which that. Were two one of my favourite bands. Bollock. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ringtone. <laughs> he's a he's a soggy one. This one. I bet his guitar strings are too long. Once he's put them on. I'm gonna look out for that. I know they wouldn't be. I feel like you're pretty no, like, neat, tight. neat and tidy. Keep it tight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and no it. one expects that of me. But our like Sweeney, our tour manager, mm. has always said he's like, I will say the one thing I'm so surprised about you is what a neat freak you are because you. You are such a mess as a human being. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so you guys have, uh, Zach and Billy, you, you know each other for a very long time. When did you first meet? Um, I would have been about four or five when we met. Um, I moved to Windang from Western Sydney and Zach lived like four doors down and I think we were playing footy at the front, me and dad, and then Zach was like, what's going on? Yeah. And then, yeah. We grew up like, yeah, down the street. Yeah. So it was like pretty much like... All primary school, high school. Yeah. And now, um, yeah, still here. When somehow. did you decide who was going to be the drummer and who was going to be the singer? Um, <laughs> it was actually, yeah, because we all played guitar. Like there was a few other mates of ours that with our first band was just like kind of cover band that we had a few originals that were pretty good. But um, for the most part, it was just living end covers and <laughs> whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. So Zach was like shoddy guitar because he could play guitar. And then our other mate was like shoddy bass. And I was like, well, I guess I'm on the drums. So, yeah, that was that, really. You, you yeah. made a zombie skateboard video, didn't you? We did, yeah. Which was, was awesome. <laughs> I, was like, I, was a, I was thinking if you could be in a band, if you'd be young and be in a band, those are two things I would definitely throw together <laughs> in, in a video. Skateboarding and fucking zombies. Well, that was that the thing. Rules. We filmed that just before COVID, like, mm. and it was like kind of ironic, like the whole, you know, Skating through LA as zombies and stuff. It was like yeah, pretty apocalypse had hit. Pretty fitting, mm-hmm. yeah. You yeah. So, I imagine it'd be pretty hard to trick one another if one of you is the mole today too. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. Like Zach's full of mystery. Oh, <laughs> you know. I would say you're pretty mysterious. He is misto. Like we've gotten. I feel like especially after the Fred Shed thing, we got a lot closer. But I still think there's a lot of mystery. I reckon there is I too. Like that people think that about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, on the other hand, <laughs> it's an open book. Oh, yeah. me, me. Like, how long have we all been friends now? I would say from 2016. Ages. So that's seven, about, seven years. Seven years. Yeah. yeah. That's a while. That's yeah. So I feel ages. like it's got to be a good balance between. Yeah. yeah. And I feel no, like I've known Dicko a lifetime. Yeah, no. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I've been hanging in the shadows <laughs> of reality TV. Yeah. yeah. I've just been Blinged. staring at you from TV week yeah. at, in the hairdressers. <laughs> I really hope not. On the front cover. <laughs> um, and you guys are here in Brisbane doing the uh, Hockey Fields Tour. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. What came first, the idea for the tour or the name for the tour? I think the it was the I mean, idea. it was all together, wasn't it? Yeah. Because like, yeah. so we went on a tropical holiday to Lord Howe Island together. <laughs> yeah. It was a really awesome, bands, awesome, romantic awesome romantic holiday. Yeah. <laughs> and we just, because we'd been playing a few festivals around Australia and just being on the same lineups. And I got asked. Catching up. Yeah. She, like the woman that asked me to play was like, do you know any other like small, like when I, she said small band, she was like without five members in it. And I was like, yeah. oh, easy. Hockey dad, three boys. Did you play at Lord Howe? Yeah. we yeah. Just really? did it, That's like, why you went? Yeah. The small yeah. community, we didn't get paid. We just went over and they paid for our flights, which was so generous. Isn't it and, a, a remarkable place? It was yeah. beautiful. It is one of the most magical places on the planet. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I've been there a couple of times. It's beautiful. Do you happen, do you happen to know Diamond? <laughs> I was just Diamond. about to ask. Is that, that. Is, that is, wait, is that the local hooker? Yeah, it, like, she actually was a prostitute, I'm pretty sure. That was the whole, <laughs> and she's like retired there yeah. and she's got her like, her, like she just loves the But loved, they all left the multitask there, so she was probably the air traffic controller as well. <laughs> yeah. So because I think the copper actually empties the bins as well. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a good guy. But um, we just went there and <laughs> we, were sitting, we were sitting there on the golf course, I think, um, on the green and we we're all just watching the sunset and we were like, we should write a song together. I think that's where it started. We were like, we should mm. write, like release a song together. And then we just started going, oh, God, it would be so good to do a tour together. And then within like a week or two after we got home, I'm pretty sure we just that's like, right, yeah. yeah, we just pulled it all together and we're like, yep, let's do a tour together and we'll let, like, let's get Dear Seattle on it. And we were just really excited. Mm. Did you go to Nobby's Beach where all those fish swim around your legs, all the kingfish? Oh, we, nah. we ate one, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've destroyed their trust. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, yeah, I think that was on the cards, but we were too busy at the shack. Oh, yeah. Um, we, yeah, we only had limited time. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. only had three went days. Went on a fish. Went on a massive hike. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me, you didn't me, walk me up that Steve. big. You didn't walk up we Mount Goward. Yeah, yeah. Wow. and we, I, me and Steve threw up like three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was only. I think it was the the goat hill one, like the halfway yeah, up one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bigger one behind. Yeah. But it was like hard, like most of the way up the other one. And yeah, it was the the view was. It's insane. a posh. It's a posh place for young people, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, that's it. Because like, it's normally old retirees and billionaires. Yeah. No, nah, it was horny as, man. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> you go to Jindabyne and everyone's doing a season and they're all heaps horny and fucking it's each other. Like, thing. it was yeah. like that. Really? Kids, kids go to Lord Howe for a season and we got there the first night and I was kind of saying to Pat, like, you got to pick wisely, dude, because you got one shot here. It's a small island. <laughs> and then just all these girls were all over the boys. Wow. They were so excited a new guy was there. It's like, fresh fresh everyone, meat. yeah, Land everyone was so, <laughs> like, the first yeah. party we went to was literally just the boat shack. I was like, come, and we all went, and it was like, horn, like horn dogs you, you everywhere. Can, you can actually hear the ears pricking up on three or four quiz centric sex tourists yeah. as you speak. So. Flights to Lord Howe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now that we've met our players, we need to designate a mole. So I'm going to hand out these cards. Three of them say player, one of them says oh. mole. Just have a little look at it and then hand it back to me. Um, do I hand these out or uh, do I hold ooh, on to it? Maybe hand it out. Okay. That'll be Okay. So just have a look and then just hand it back to me. I actually didn't get a good look at that. Can I? No. <laughs> <laughs> Our mole has been chosen. Let's get into round one. And there's a song. Mm. And it's new metal. Round one. Uh, as the song says, it's it's an individual one. Did so you're you gonna make, play. Did you make that? No, Simi did. Oh, really? Simi did that one. Uh, Dicko, we'll start with you. Uh huh. A correct answer will get you ten points. An incorrect answer loses you five points if you can believe such a thing. Which milk company from New Zealand shares its name with a paper size? Oops. Would it be A four, A three? That's incorrect. It's A2. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're so oh. close. Who uses A2? That's nonsense. <laughs> what a Printers. rubbish That's a really show. weird question. <laughs> a weird question? Yeah, that's a good one. It's just very niche. Yeah, well, he's a big foodie. Okay. So I've, He I've loves tried. milk. Yeah. <laughs> ba he bathes in milk like Cleopatra. Uh, I've got a question for you, Ruby. Okay. This is, it's trying to play to your strong points, which, of course, I know is dinosaurs because I quiz you on it every single time and you're always very good. Which dinosaur name passed out of use when it was discovered that its fossils uh, proved to be identical to the previously named Apatosaurus? I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't know. That's so specific. That's all right. How many dinosaur breeds do you know? Breeds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> you yeah. got your hunting dinosaurs, your sporting dinosaurs, <laughs> and show dinosaurs. And winning Family best friendly. in show tonight, <laughs> the Triceratops. <laughs> um, There's got to be one. A Patasaurus, um, and it's not called that anymore. No, yeah, well, they don't use this name anymore because they realise it was just an Apatosaurus the whole time. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's right. Do you I, want to just throw one out? I don't, I, but I, I know what an Apatosaurus is. I just don't know what else it would have, it was called. Mm. Do you give up? Yeah, I give up. Oh, it's a Brontosaurus. Were well, you going to say oh, Brontosaurus? Yeah. That was the first one I was thinking too. Oh, I <laughs> See? just said it. Oh, trust your but, gut. Yeah, I know, I should have trusted my gut be on that one. It's a, it's a perfect moly oh. move. Zach, Damn you're it. up yeah. next. Which Australian band was named after the founder Mulling of Springfield and the Simpsons? Oh, Jebediah. Correct. Of course. Nice. nice. You guys are named after the Simpsons yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Song yeah. in the Simpsons. There's mm. a lot of bands like that. Heaps, actually, yeah. Fall Out Boy. Evergreen Terrace. Evergreen Terrace. Yeah. Santa's Little Helper. Is that a band? Is that a band? I don't know. Should be. <laughs> <laughs> should be Write fourth on the bill tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and Billy, you're you're into board sports. I you, am. You're good at surfing, chess, skating, chess, snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Twister. can't. Yeah, chess isn't my thing, but I'll give it a go. Okay. Hopefully, it's not a chess question. It's oh, it's not. Oh, great. Which American shoe brand is famous for having a roller skate wheel embedded in their soles? Oh, Heelys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's extreme sports. Respect. Yeah, yeah, that is. Going through the airport on those. Oh, Woo! my friend had a pair of those when we were young. Mate, that was the best time of my life. I wanted one so bad and my yeah. mom went out to buy me some and then she ended up getting these like giant thick ones that had like roller skate wheels that you popped out of. Oh my and they God. were just the lamest thing ever. I was, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I look like such a dog. But I did before it anyway. Too. I was going to say, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Ruby, what's the, what's the worst gig you've ever played? Oh, I was talking about this today, actually. Um, so a woman came in to one of our shows and wanted to give us edibles. And she's a professional baker. Like baker. Was, was it in, was it in like Melbourne? Like the best gig yes. I've ever played. Yeah, um, it was St Kilda, the, the SB. She's, and, um, she's come up to me before at a ballpark music gig that we were she? supporting. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Um, she came up and she had this fully crazy like pastry box with like cupcakes that had dinosaurs with a weed symbol on them, like so professionally done. And she was like, I just had three. They don't give you couch lock. It'll be sweet. And I was like, okay, I've got a pretty low tolerance for weed. And I just think because I mentioned bongs in a song once or cones or whatever <laughs> yeah. it was in pea plates that everyone just assumes I'm a massive stoner. And, um, yeah, she came in, she bought them, and we had them the next day. And I had, I think I had half of one. And I went to sound check and – I was so stoned out of my brain actually before sound check that we were like, let's watch Family Guy and we realised we were watching gameplay of someone playing the video game for 20 minutes before we realised <laughs> like there was some, someone doing the same level over and over and we were just like, this is great. <laughs> and then we <laughs> went to sound check and as we were sound checking, it was, um, it was Dan Stork yeah. and um, he was behind the desk and I was just, I was singing and it was going wow, wow, wow and I was going, Fuck. I was like, we've got to play in like an hour. If this fucking happens, like when I'm on stage, I can't play the show. Yeah. And I was going, guys, 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 can you hear this? Then all of a sudden it'd go away. And I was like, no, it's the spatial something of the room. Like as soon as you guys stand near me, it's fine. As soon as you have to walk away, it's fucked. And then like after like five, ten minutes of this, I looked down and Stork's just pissing himself and he's just been putting the delay on my vocal <laughs> anytime. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, I was also really stoned that night at the show and I could barely hear anything and I think that was probably – just the worst nightmare because I always always have trouble with my hearing anyway, and mm. I was just so ripped. I was wearing a, <laughs> I was wearing a shirt that had Chappelle Corby and heaps mm. of weed all over it. Too. <laughs> Do you know what? The last job I had in the UK in the record industry was running international for UK companies, and all I used to look after our bands everywhere except the UK, and we used to send our bands to Australia. And my mate, who I ended up working with when I moved to Australia from BMG Australia, rang me up and he said, "Look." Can I just give you a, a friend-to-friend warning to tell your bands when they come here that Australian weed is so much stronger than British weed? And mm. um, Because all of our bands are going over there, so to, coming to Australia, smoking the same amount as they would back home and just gigs were getting cancelled left, right and centre. <laughs> so I think Australian weed is super, super strong compared to everywhere else. 
Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Hey? I feel like, well, that's the same as us going to the Go States. Australia. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like, yeah, you forget. Disc, disc you, go shit. To, you go to USA and you're like, whoa, that's oh, America right. America now will knock your socks off. It's yeah. crazy. Mm. But, but it's American the same way. with cocaine yeah. in America. It's actually got some in. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. got some in there. <laughs> Let's get into round two, which is the boards round. So you've got your boards in front of you. You should have one each. Oh, yep. Thanks, man. It's time for boards. Round two. Boards. 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 Now, these questions are going to be for 20 points each, but the, the, the trick is you both need to have the same correct answer to get the 20 points. Okay. So, okay. so you can't show each other. Your board. So I'll ask you a question, write it down on your board, but try not to give away whether you know it or not, because if the mole's on your team, they'll like they'll play on that, you know, okay. that gives them an edge. Mm. Right. First question, beginning with G, what term of Australian Aboriginal origin is used colloquially to describe something that is a joke or inauthentic? Beginning with G. All right, let's lock in what we've got. We'll start with you, Zach. What would you have? I had a G up. G up? <laughs> that's actually a pretty good answer. G up. I mean, that's all I had. A bit of a G up. That's a G up. Yeah, what did you have, Ruby? A gag. What, what, what do you think G up is short for, if anything? I don't know, actually. That's a G, a G up. up. That's a get, get up? No. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Well, what did you have, Billy? I had the same gag. I, gag. Oh, I deleted it and then <laughs> I deleted it and then I, I wrote it down again because I was like, I'm not too sure. Um, gag. Yeah. I was like, after I, I was gonna write giggle. And then when, oh, when, you, when you said you when you said it was um, a joke or like it's irrelevant or something, that I made thought me a go, gag. Oh. That's what I was like. Yeah, oh, it's like, irrelevant. I, that's not quite it, is it? Dicko, you seem confident. What have you? No, got? not really. But I was I I got something down, but I'm not confident. Goon, I had goon. Oh. I was looking for gammon. No, gammon. never. Gammon. Gammon. never heard You've never heard? Term. Oh, are you serious? Oh, it must be a Queensland thing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no one here is from Queensland. No way. <laughs> ah, well. Just gammon? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I'll cut that one out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Goon. <laughs> okay, next up. That's another kind of subculture of Australia, I think. <laughs> In 2007, the Australian government partnered with Warner Brothers in a campaign to save which... Threatened species. Everyone's got something down. Billy, Billy's looking very pleased with himself. I think so. <laughs> what have you got? Tassie Devil. Same. Is that correct? Ruby's got Tassie Devil too. What do you have, Zach? Uh, the koala. <laughs> koala. <laughs> and <laughs> Dicko, what have you got? Frill neck lizard. Oh, <laughs> it was Tassie Devil. Of we should have been on the same team. Damn. We've got the same answer so far. No points. <laughs> Okay. Because uh, I was thinking Warner Brothers. I was like, because the Tassie Devils, the Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah that's why. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good bit of lateral thinking there, Rubes. Yeah. Yeah. Put a G up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gamming, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a bunch of gamming lads. Uh, what nickname is shared by a popular singer and a member of the British royal family? Still technically. Wait, well, can you repeat that? Sorry. It's a nickname. It's shared by a popular singer and a member of... Of the British royal family, although you don't see them that much these days. Mm. So, dead, or, dead or alive? Al they're both alive okay. still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's in, not Queen. In case you wrote Prince or Queen. <laughs> 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 Delete. Um, okay. So it's a singer. They're still around. And also, this might be a little bit before your time, actually. <laughs> You're already laughing, so I know it's not that. <laughs> but it's a nickname for a member of the royal family. Yeah. For example, if I I don't think the queen was nicknamed Lizzo, but if oh. she, if she did have the nickname oh. Lizzo, oh, that okay. would be one. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. This is good. I don't know, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes, you've um, got this. Uh, it's not a nickname, though. I'm putting all my it's faith like in the name, for the this name one. of the singer and a nickname. We've both got to get it right. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, let's let's throw over to Dicko. What have you got? I had Will I Am. Will I Am. Oh. Whoa, that's so good. So deep. Yeah. Interesting answer. Uh, what did you have, Billy? I had Haza. Haza. Is um, that actually the name of a singer? I have no idea. Okay. I'm just guessing. 
What did yeah, you? Yeah, I had nothing. I just had Harry. Harry? <laughs> okay, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you I have, I wrote Ruby? Charlie XCX because okay. I was like, like that's, Everyone, that's not a nickname. Everyone is so wrong. Uh, <laughs> but Dicko's the closest. Fergie. What? Oh. Or the dog. <laughs> well, in some ways, yes. <laughs> Wait, is it the... What? Is it a dog in the royal family? No, no. 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 She, she was the Duchess of York. She was... Oh, fight, fuck she off was, that oh, shit. She, was the, she was the ginger... Gold digger who is married to I don't sweat Prince Andrew, oh. not yeah. not a trouser nonce. I have yeah. no history. I don't, yeah. I don't know any history Nothing. on the royal family. <laughs> sorry, well, sorry, Dicko. That was fun though. <laughs> well, that went down really yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> crickets. Can we do another board round? <laughs> Hold on. He's looking for crickets. <laughs> <laughs> That's too late. Uh, well. Let's let's do one more board question. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. hopefully we can get one. Uh, it'd be so, great yeah. if we could get one. I forgot one. that we really need to channel each other and look yeah. at each other when we oh, do this. No, you just yeah. need to both have the same correct answer. I think we need to look we at need each to other. Ga- <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Billy. We need to gaze lovingly into yeah. each other's eyes. <laughs> okay. You can get arrested for that sort of thing these days. <laughs> Beginning with A, which amphibian is also known as a Mexican walking fish? <laughs> Okay. Oh, All right. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> come on. First one I know. Oh, no, oh right. really? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Beginning with A. Yeah. It's an amphibian. Okay. It's also known as a Mexican walking fish. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, it's right. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have, Tico? Yeah, what did you have? Hard rock. Hard rock. Oh. What did you have, Billy? I don't know how Axel to spell it. Axolotl. I don't know how to spell That's it. That's what I yes! had too. Yes. Oh, Axolotl no. yes. is correct. Yes. So we've got oh. 20 yes. points so right. for Ruby and Zach. Did we all spell it differently? <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Zach's a lot. Really None of them spent it, spelt it aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to play the love it or hate it game. So uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to tell me a song that you hate or like people might be surprised to know that you hate. And everyone needs to answer honestly, except for the mole who needs to tell us a song they love. Yeah. And sell it like they hate it, you know? Yep. They got to lie. And that, like a nasty little mole that they are. Okay. Everyone, has everyone got one? Yep. What do you need yep. a second one? It has to be one you hate. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're the mole. Okay. Well, Ruby, what's what's the song that you hate? I don't know how everyone feels about this, but Sex is on Fire by Kings of Leon. I can't fucking stand it. Oh. I can't stand it. Me, yeah. me and me and my mum it used to come on in the car, we'd turn the radio off. It just like I love like I don't mind Kings of Leon and everyone in the band loves them, but that one song gives me the ick. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Good answer. Okay. I yeah. Yeah, I love Kings of Leon. I don't mind that song. Oh, that's the thing. It's like I feel like Kings of Leon have definitely got better songs, but yeah. I do agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that um, he was originally singing You Set This On Fire and the producer heard it and was like, your sex is on fire? What does that mean? And then they're like, oh, that's the song now. I think that's what I hated about it. There was yeah. some, there was like Made an no ego sense. in it like, this sex is on fire. I was yeah. like, now okay. I'm older. I'm like, good on you, man. That like, <laughs> <laughs> must be nice. That must be sick. <laughs> yeah. shout, Stop shout, bragging. Shouting about you, chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you know that Tinder Vines, um, actually the um, chlamydia... Um, capital of Australia, the capital, really? if you will. The capital. Oh <laughs> no, my god! It is. Really? Ginger vine is. Yep. It's all those <laughs> horny little season season workers. Lord Howe. Close <laughs> Lord Howe. Close <laughs> <second>. <laughs> yeah. Diamond um, just spreading. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what's um what's the song you people might be surprised to know you hate? Uh, I hate that. Toxic by Britney Spears. Oh, okay. Is it just the Ruby Fields version? <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there going. <laughs> cool. Man. You cover that. I had no yeah, idea. Splendor. <laughs> <laughs> we covered it. Thank God I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You what? wait till you, you, you wait till her encore that. tonight. <laughs> you could not have written that any better. You and as soon as he said that, I just my face just fell. I was like, the footage of that's going to be so funny. Just going Toxic by Britney Spears, and I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, what about the song? Do you hate? Uh, I don't know. Just like, yeah. Okay. A bit like a mosquito y kind of. Yeah, a little mosquito synthy thing. Not okay. a fan. Billy, mm. what's a song that people might be uh, interested to know that you hate? I think it's called The A Team by Ed Sheeran. Oh, Is yeah. that it? Yeah. I think, yeah, mate. I don't know what your thoughts are, Dicko. Sorry if this offends you, but. 
No, I'm fine with that. You Basically, go ahead. yeah. You kick the ginger fucker to death. I don't yeah, <laughs> no, that's fine. I think, yeah, I don't know. There's something that irks me about. I don't know. I do love the acoustic guitar <laughs> and solo acts, but I don't know, man. Yeah, it's just one. Of, maybe it's just the commercialism. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, but that's I feel like it's just that hurts to hear. Good answer. Yep. Mm. And Dicko, what's the song? Um, you hate? I hate Nutbush. Tina Turner. Wow. wow. Nothing particularly wrong with the song per se, and she does – she gives it a red-hot go Yeah, because she's a great singer. But the here in Australia, there is an unrealistic expectation the second it comes on in mixed company that you're going to get up and make an absolute <laughs> tit of yourself doing that fucking dance that you guys made famous, basically. Yeah. And – and it's all walks of life. You know, you never know when you're going to meet an avid nut busher, basically. Oh, they're and, everywhere. You, and you look at it, but there are certain people that you think they're going to know every fucking move to this. <laughs> they're not even going to have to look left or right. I get, they I could get close lost their eyes every time. And do this. Every time I always, like, I don't dance. That's a massive self rule of mine. I just, you know, when people try to get you up to dance, like, come dance. I'm like, I'll fucking hit you. Like, don't touch me. <laughs> but Was, that's, that's the one I think where I'll be like, I'll give it a go, but I'm so uncoordinated that I have to what? look left So let, right. let me get this straight. You won't dance, Mm-mm. but you will do the nut bush if pushed. If I'm, that makes no if sense I'm, like, whatsoever. If I'm super pissed, I will. That's like yeah. the one song See, that I when think it comes I would to, get up and dance In, in to. terms of the dance food chain, that is right at the fucking bottom. <laughs> can, can I just say? Yeah, because I can't dance. It's this, like the easiest one. The Macarena's close. It's like, yeah, it's like you've got basically not Bushy's down there. Then you've got Twirly dancing that old cunts do at weddings, you know. <laughs> then, then the Macarena, you know. Is this targeted yeah. at me, Dicko? No, no. <laughs> Because so, we did a, a tour, uh, not on your rider tour recently, and uh, Tina Turner had just died, R.I.P. Queen. R. P. And um, we, at the end, someone would play Nutbush, and then everyone got on stage and did the Nutbush in the crowd. And I was really good at it. Suspiciously good. <laughs> Eamon, suspiciously good at the Nutbush. And one, actually one girl fell off the stage in Melbourne. I felt really bad about that. Yeah, as he that? laughed his tits off. <laughs> my tits off. Were you just sitting there like red face about yeah, to boil up? Yeah, I was yeah. just sitting Bloody there. Yeah. I was just yeah, <laughs> sitting there arms folded, like, yeah, determined not to breathe for the full three minutes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and you weren't tempted to come up and have a... Look, no. I, 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 do you know what? I did. I, I gave it a, a good red hot 20 seconds yeah. before hating myself and having to sit down. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'm going to try it for Eamon, Thank but you. even our friendship couldn't get me over the line there. <laughs> it's putrid. <laughs> That's the thought that counts, I think. Um, all right, well, interesting answers here. It's hard to pick who it is. I'm going to give you a quick uh, update on scores. Uh, Ruby and Zach are on 25 points. Dick and Billy are on five points. Ooh. That can all turn around. <laughs> Uh, you just that's on you camera. just tried to do a, a high five. No. Do it again. That's on camera. High five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. For the viewers at home, um, yeah, the the team over there, Ruby and Zach tried a high five and a fist bump at the same time. Oh my god. Yeah. It, was, it, it looked like it was bo- I know, I was so, like so, boxing I'm practice. Right, Let's go. It's time for round three, which is teams. Round three. For this round, you're working as teams. I've got a list of topics and their point amounts. We're going to take turns each choosing one topic. Some of the questions will have multiple answers. So once you give me an incorrect answer, the opposing team has a chance to steal. So obviously start with the one you're most confident with. Uh, So this week, the topics are different films, same plot for 20 points, dollar redos for 20 points, plunge into grunge for 40, and kicking goals for 40. Let's start with you, Ruby. What would you like to... I thought it was any mole as a goal for 40. Oh, oh, yeah, I changed it from kicking goals to any mole as a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's running this shit? <laughs> oh, originally, it was a, any hole as a mole. Or no, any... Any, any does, mole as a hole. Any mole as a hole. But um, that works. What's it going to be? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ruby, which, yeah, one, hold it up for you. <laughs> which one would you like to see to play? Uh, what do you want to do? Uh... Do we go safe and just go, I mean, how many rounds? Do we only get to pick one category? On um, the, uh, each person will get to choose one. Okay. Except for one oh, person. okay. So in the end, they all get done. Yeah. Okay. So 
We'll do we'll do one twenty point or one forty point. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll just go different film, same plot. Different film, same plot. Okay. I'm intrigued. I've got two movies that are very different but have essentially the same plot. I need you to identify them. So one was released in 2008. The other one was released in 2009. Okay. They both feature a bitter old man in changing times befriending a young Asian boy who helps him overcome cynicism after the death of his wife. And your time starts now. Okay. Well, obviously it's up. Never seen it. Okay, right, go it's. On. Uh, I think it's. I've got. I think I've got two answers. Is that? Do I just press yeah. the button? Oh, Ruby's buzzed in. What's your first answer? Up. Correct. And the second one? Karate Kid. Oh no! Oh, Unfortunately, so we're going to throw it over to the other team. Oh, so but that's that's also kind of this this like anyway whatever. Uh, yeah. Same plot. Oh, same. Young it's Asian. Of, young Asian boy. Yeah, wasn't he? No, he's a, he's a black. He's black in there. It's an old Asian man. It's quite well, the that, opposite. That's, that's like the Will Smith one though, right? Yeah. That's, well, it's not Will Smith. Well, 2008 and 2009. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Right. So those were the two. For, for... All right, time's up. I'm what? sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, so oh I, my... that's not fair. I was talking. Yeah. I was talking. What were you, you doing? Give him... I was, ca- I was <laughs> counting that? down. Five, four, three, two, one. Which oh, is right. No, no, no. Give, give him another. Uh, give him another. Like, that's do we have an right. answer? Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't know Up was put out in 2008 or nine, um, so I'm well off the mark here. So I'm going to leave it to you, mate. I feel like you've got oh. some idea on films. Was it um, was it an Indiana Jones, a last one, <laughs> a la- late one? You got to press, Indiana- press the button. Oh. Indiana Jones. Oh, it's it's Gran Torino. I'm sorry. Oh, I never, I never would have gotten that. Gran I don't Torino. think I've seen that. But you got you got ten points. Good. Nothing. Yeah, that's good. Nothing to bloody sneeze out there. Ooh, yeah, uh, that's it. That's it. We're Billy, right. would you like to choose a, a topic for me? <laughs> what are yeah. you going for, Billy? Um, I kind of like the idea of dollary dues. Dollary dues. Okay. Yeah. All right, this, this is for two points. Which two Australian coins feature a kangaroo on them? Mm, this is tough for me because I'm quite rich. I don't deal with coins. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, what do you reckon, mate? Golly gosh. Um, oh, I'll hit that. Billy's buzzed in. Yeah. What's your first answer? Oh, I'm going to get this so wrong. Just go for it, mate. Trust yourself. <laughs> uh, I gotta put, put 50 cents. 50 cents is correct. Hey. And your other answer? $2. That's incorrect. Oh, so man. we're going to throw it over to the other team. Oh. Zach's buzzed in. It's the one dollar coin, right? Correct. Oh. Yeah, I thought God. so. I was, I was, yeah, I was tripping. I was thinking that was like the two dollars too small. That's yeah, like that's what I was, I was thinking. Like, I don't think it's that. Fifty yeah. cents is the tricky one because it's yeah, the coat of arms. That. That's yeah. what I was thinking. That's I knew that was going to be a trick question. Hmm, okay. I always went twenty, but that's a platypus. But you know what's platypus. interesting? <laughs> Nobody's gone for the forty point question yet. Well, well, I figured I'd be humble, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good of you. Uh, so, Zach, I'll get you to choose one for me. Speaking of not being humble. <laughs> give me give me any mole as a goal, please. Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> of course. Any mole is a goal. For four point, oh, 40 points, four answers, which four summer Olympic sports have goalkeepers? Your time starts now. Uh, is soccer? Hockey, like, yeah. Soccer. Um, Olympic sport? Um, uh, uh, what's that fucking one people play? It's like it's on grass. Do they play lacrosse? Lacrosse? Um, I don't know. Um, um, fuck. Uh, what? Uh, oh, yep. Oh, Ruby's buzzed in. What's um, your first answer? So, soccer. Correct. Hockey. Correct. Um, water polo. Correct. And lacrosse? That's incorrect. Ah. So I'll throw it over to the other team. You've got 10 seconds. You've definitely seen it. more Olympics than oh, I have. I think you're right there. I saw the first one in Athens. <laughs> Cheeky little cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky little cunt. <laughs> I, I'm going to go handball. That's correct. Oh, European oh, handball. Yeah. handball. Thank you. Yeah, like yeah. European handball. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do okay. we still get like three points? For that you got bit? three points. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, nasty. Uh, which leaves? I will. Would... Get, yeah, I'll get, I reckon we'll go plunge into grunge. Plunge mm-hmm. into grunge. Yeah, that sounds good. Which bands are known as the Big Four of grunge? 
Okay, the big four grunge that'll be Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and oh, I don't know, Jane's Addiction, or probably not Jane's Addiction, maybe Mud Honey. I think or, Mud or, Honey. Or what about Screaming Trees? I th- Mud Honey could be up there. You reckon Mud Honey over Screaming Trees? Okay, I'm. Oh, Dicko's buzzed in. What's I'm your first go, answer? I'm going to go Nirvana. Correct. Pearl Jam. Correct. Uh, Soundgarden. Correct. And Screaming Trees. Incorrect. <laughs> oh. So we're going to throw over to the other team. Maybe Melvin's it's more funky. Melvin's oh, more like metal. It's a little too. I was going to say Proto. Hole, but I don't know if that counts. No. Yeah. Okay, oh, I mean, Zach. I'll just I'll jump in. I'll say the Melvins. I don't know. Oh, it's incorrect. It's uh, Alice in Chains. Oh. Would you believe such a thing? Alice in Chains. Okay, interesting. That's fair. Fair. Yeah, Melvins, weren't they a sub-pop band? Yeah. So, yeah. that that See, that, those sub-pop bands were a bit punkier. Yeah. So, like, so. so Swallow and Tad, Melvins, Green River, Mud Honey. Are the Melvins mm. from like a... I think, they were, I think they were from, I think they were from Washington there. State, yeah. yeah. They're so good. Fucking love the Melbourne. So a bit of an update. Zach and Ruby are on 70 points. Billy and Dicko are on 50 points. Oh, we're oh, catching up. Okay. 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 That's but good. Everything can turn around in this final round. Oh, actually, have you, I was, have you guys ever met someone whose music you love and then meeting them kind of ruins it for you? Yeah, you never meet your heroes. Do you have mm. one in, one in mind? There's one I can't legally talk about. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> can't legally talk about. It. Can't. Um, uh, did you meet him? Uh, uh, we no. got to cut that out. <laughs> we, actually, <laughs> we actually have to legally okay, cut yeah. that out. <laughs> <laughs> we met Courtney Taylor Taylor from Dandy Warhols. I'm not saying I would love their music anyway, but he was kind of punishing to hang out with. Really? Yeah. In what way? Just a big bloat, like. Big American persona. <laughs> I think it's the a um, big loud American persona. Yeah, I think Junie said that after their Splendor set, didn't like Dandies invited them. He's like, hey man, come back to our hotel. We're yeah. gonna watch our own set again or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But it was with, we were with Junies at the time. Oh really? Yeah, Canada, yeah. and they were there playing something else. I can't. You can't put this in either. Yeah, but yeah. it's still funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, had I feel- one before for if you've met someone. Or even how, like, if you really like a person and their music shit, yeah. that sucks. Oh, there's a lot of those around there, isn't there? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, have you ever have you met – because you've, you've met some some pretty big people over the years. Is anyone you've met who's – it's ruined your enjoyment of their music? Uh, look, do you know what? I've, I've met some champions like Billy Joel, one of the most beautiful people on the planet, was at the top of his game when I worked with him, and he's one of the most down-to-earth beautiful people that you'd ever met, Dave Grohl. The same, we, I was part of the gang who went over and signed Foo yeah. Fighters. Spent a week with them in Los Angeles and, and their management team and whatnot. But, but then when you're, in the, when you're in the team, you just get treated really, really well. It doesn't matter if you're a roadie or if you're part of a record company. You're just part of their gang. Yeah. And, and it's just lovely when you meet people like that. Then you meet people like Michael Bolton. Oh. And, um, <laughs> yeah. He um, just, just oh. well, I mean, long bald hair says it all, really, doesn't it? You Wait, know? long bald, hair. long bald hair. You know the fucking bald, the old bald. helicopter landing like, pad on top, like sound, sound <laughs> sound guy. Fucking sound flailing, guy. Te- yeah. flailing <laughs> tentacles around the side, <laughs> and um, and a, and a personality to match. Just yeah, just absolutely up his own arsehole, and mm. and yeah, just not terribly. Nice, but I assume you weren't a big Michael Bolton fan. I wasn't a Michael it. Bolton fan, but you know what? When when you work in major labels, they're broad churches, and you've yeah. got to deal with a lot of people. I remember once we we had um, P Diddy coming into Australia, and it took um, took the best part of two hours to get him to leave Sydney Airport because he came out and there was a white limo. So I'm not getting in a white limo. So we had to grub around and get a fucking black limo for him there. And then Bad luck or the black limo turned up and he went, I'm not getting this because the sound system isn't good enough and I've got to listen to mixes. Okay. You go, look, mate, it's fucking 20 minutes to the airport. <laughs> Seriously, can you put your headphones on or wait? But no, we had to then find another like 
vehicle that had a state-of-the-art sound system just so he could get the 20 minutes from the fucking airport to the hotel wow. so and listen to stuff. And you go, at what point in someone's success do they disappear that far up their own jack seat? It's unbelievable, isn't it? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Because I Wikipedia'd you recently. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> how, how cool is that? Um, no, I Wikipedia do, and um, I did. You, did you manage or like label managed Black Sabbath at one point? I, I worked or with Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, I worked with Ozzy and What's Sharon. What's he like? like? Ozzy is amazing. Yeah, Sharon's even more amazing. Yeah, Sharon's great. I, mean, I my favorite Sharon story was we were working with. I Mo- do a good impression. Of oh yeah, we were working with Motorhead, and they came to Australia. I was in the UK, and and. Um, and I had a call from the Australian pr- promo guy saying, I'm at the airport with Motorhead and they won't leave the airport. Lemmy said he won't leave the airport until he gets $100 and a gram of speed. And I went, What's oh, What's that 100 shit. bucks about? So I rang up Sharon. <laughs> and I, said, I said, look, <laughs> yeah. Sharon, I'm really sorry, but this is what's happening. She went, oh, give me the fucking number. And she's a hard case, right? So Sharon <laughs> rings up, like does what she does. Next thing I know, um, I get a call from the record company saying, thank you very much. We're on our way to, to the promo. So I ring up Sharon. I said, Sharon, I won't ask you to do this a lot. Thank you very much. She went, oh, it's no problem. I said, out of interest, what did you say to him? She said, I told Lemmy not to be such a cheap cunt. If he's working for me, it's a gram of coke and $1,000. Now do your fucking job. <laughs> and he went, you shouldn't. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, but 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 you know what? Um, I did a show with Kelly, their their daughter. I did um, Australia's Got Talent. She was a judge on it, and uh, Kelly used to tell me how Lemmy and Ozzy used to sit around in their house in Los Angeles watching the Hitler Channel all day long, World <laughs> War Two documentaries, and that's Don't all they right. did. And then and she said I'd go past this darkened room with this massive screen on, and they'd just be like, that they'd be like the dad. Having like Ozzy having a green tea, and then Lemmy with a bottle of Jack, both sitting there with these Jack boots up on the buffet watching the Hitler Channel. Mm. The um, because I was yes. thinking about that video. Have you seen the one where it's um Ozzy at home and he's like, "Someone's been here and taken all the beers oh, out of my room," and then she time. goes, "I think it's you, Ozzy. You're the beer thief." <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, oh. and then he goes oh. <laughs> so it's my favourite video of all time. Who's been in my room, room stealing my, my beers? <laughs> it's you. <laughs> you do the rest of the pod as uh, Sharon Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you guys ever met anyone like that? Uh, um, like what was the original question? Oh, like, uh, uh, meeting an artist who you love and then it, you don't have a great time with them, so it kind of taints. This is going to get us in so much trouble. <laughs> Maybe. I, did, I did mine. Yeah, you've done yours. Oh, yeah. And you really do have to oh, cut yeah. those. What do you try the other way? Someone who you didn't really dig their band, but you saw them. <laughs> you met them. They were so lovely. You went, oh, do you know what? I'm going to listen to their song. Yeah, actually, that's probably a better thing. Because I like to give people the time of day, for yeah. sure. But I feel like most of the time when you're at, like, festivals, that kind of realm where it's like, you know, big dick swinging, who's got the more pull kind yeah. of thing. Like, that's kind of when you see the true character, I reckon. Mega 10 over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Every festival we play, yeah, we always try to get everyone like, into a big communal space. Yeah. yeah, it's not like I've just, I don't know, it's not like I've listened to a band or, like, anything like that. But, like, just seeing how they prance around in those areas Changes, and yeah. being, like, even, like, you know, like, I demand this, this and that. It's like, it doesn't really matter if your tree's in the wrong place in the green room, mate. Yeah. You know, like, just... Pull your head in. Well, I didn't like, even want us to have green rooms on this tour. I just wanted to have one big communal one. Well, that's what we're do doing st- tonight. Yeah. Do you still it's get ex- Do you still get room. excited by meeting musicians? Because I got I got I I was really excited the first time I met Ruby because I knew all about her. That's really I watched sweet. from the first time she she landed on Triple J. Yeah. And um, I was very very excited because I'd heard loads of good things. Same with you. I've been watching you guys on social media, seeing where you've been and everything. Yeah. And yeah, hang together really well as a band. I was. And, it, and sometimes, like, we get a lot of artists through here and you just go, I wonder what they're going to be like. I wonder if they're going to be tight. I wonder if they're going to finish each other's sentences like weirdo twins. You know? Yeah. I think the first thing I said to Dicko, because I met you at Splendour that morning yeah. and I was so hungover and we were about to do this whole live thing with Danny and I think one of the first things I said was, like, should we get a bag later? <laughs> <laughs> and Dicko was like, if you're buying it. And I was like, fuck, all right. 
in this economy? I would have gone <laughs> halves, I promise you. Yeah, cool. Uh, and I would have taken most of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, not that anyone asked, but the answer for me is the band Ice Age. All right, let's get into <laughs> in case anyone wanted Wait, no, to know. no, 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 what happened? Oh, do you know the band Ice Age? Yeah. I used to love them so much. They came to Brisbane. I'm thinking Ice House. Okay, never mind. All right. No, 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 no. But, <laughs> but what was the story like? What oh, you... it's it's not that good a story. So they uh, they came to Brisbane for a show, and their record label were like, "Oh, they're not doing anything. Can you invite them to do something?" So we invited them over to like a barbecue we were having, and they were it's just really personal. Oh yeah, no, it was really. So they were just kind of weird. They didn't really talk to anyone. One of them came over and was like, "Yeah, I've actually got scabies right now." And it's like, okay. And then they walked through the house. And then just left. And then we were missing a bottle of vodka. We were like, Ice Age stole our vodka. And we, yeah. we were so off it. But yeah, then they fine. they came back a couple of months later and they're all really nice. And Joe actually found the vodka somewhere else. So it wasn't actually oh. so I hated them for months. But then that, that, they were <laughs> it turned right. itself around. Yeah. yeah. So Ice Age, you're all right. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's get into round four. This is a this or that round. A correct answer gets you 10 points. An incorrect answer will lose you Five points. Round four. Is it this? Is it that? Is it this or that? This or that. We'll start with Ruby and Zach. Mm-hmm. Steven Seagal or McBain. Is this a movie that stars action star Steven Seagal or is it uh, McBain from The Simpsons? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hang <Sorry>. on. <laughs> what, you, what was even the fucking question? Yeah, what was the movie though? Like... What do you say? Well, that's what He's we're going to give it to. That's what we're going to. Yes, so we, we've got four of them. It's a this or that <laughs> oh, question. Okay. So I'm going to give you a movie title. Yeah. Is it a real movie starring Steven oh, Seagal? You know, you know Steven oh, Seagal. Okay, He's got okay, the fucking okay. ponytail. Yeah, yeah, my dad loves or him. Or McBain. All right. Yeah. Today you die. Hey, you got to buzz in and give me your answer. Uh, oh, Zach. I think it's a McBain movie. It's Steven Seagal. I thought, I thought it was Steven Seagal. I was just about to say that and I was like, oh, fuck. Half, <laughs> half past dead. Uh, fuck. Um, is, it Steven, Ruby. is it Steven Seagal? Yeah. yeah, cool. oh, yeah. Nice. Wait. You have the right to remain dead. Oh, Love that's it. got it. That's got Zach. Be a McBain movie. Correct. Yeah, cool. And fatal discharge. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of death in these quotes. Discharge is the word that I was probably gripping on a bit more. That, that's got to be McBain. McBain yeah, is correct. Okay. Wow. Same same question fatal for you guys. Discharge. But it's if fatal discharge. Why is would good. you give me that question? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only fucking woman in the room. <laughs> be like Ruby will yeah, love this one. As well, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, we can all have discharge. But that's <laughs> like that's. <laughs> we're getting that's a gender bind discharge. Yeah. That's like that's smeg smeg brother. <laughs> <laughs> the title of the episode, we can all have just dis- discharge. Um cool. similar question for you guys. <laughs> it's Steven Seagal or McBain. Oh sorry, or Rainy or Wolfcastle. Who plays McBain? So same question. Wolfcastle or Steven Seagal? A uh, total explosion. Dicko. Seagal. Co- incorrect. Oh. Whoa. Rainy or Wolfcastle. Well, maximum conviction. <laughs> I'm gonna go Billy uh, Wolf Castle. No, it's what? Seagal. That's a real what? movie. Maximum conviction. Oh, um, what? Okay. Attack Force. You're up, Dicko. Seagal. Correct. Thank God. And help, my son is a nerd. <laughs> Dicko. That's got to be Seagal. No, it's Wolf Castle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a comedy, too. <laughs> uh, okay. Interesting. Interesting answers here. For this one, I need you to identify the horror movies from the titles of their foreign releases. Is this all of us or is this This is back to you, too. Translated back into English for Ruby and Zach. So, for example, The Sixth Sense, when it was released in China, it was titled He's a Ghost. It actually was. Um, (laughs) Have you seen the ending of Finding Nemo in Swedish and it comes up instead of saying Finn, it says slut? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah. What? (laughs) Okay. Or the porn version, Grinding Nemo. (laughs) 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 <laughs> okay First up I'm gonna look that up <laughs> This movie in Norway Was called Shark Summer What was it called in English? Would Zach. it just be Jaws? Jaws is good. Yeah, yeah cool It's gonna be that or Sharknado <laughs> Blood Judgment in Texas What's the German title for this movie? Blood what? Blood Judgment in Texas Are we 
you allowed to snake them? Nah, not yet. Uh, Large Jasmine in Texas. What's a Texan movie? What a classic Western. Um, I might do the timeout. All right. Fuck. Okay. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, you knew that, Billy. So it was maybe like... Oh, it literally had... It's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. just thinking... I was trying to think so outside of the box. Like. Mortal Games. I was thinking Bone Tomahawk. Sorry. Bone Tomahawk, oh, yeah. That'd be a good answer. But Mortal Games. Uh, Ruby. Mortal Kombat? Oh, no, it's Saw. Oh. Oh, that's fuck. actually trippy, yeah. And Claws of the Night. Oh, claws of the Night. As opposed to what? <laughs> like Santa, Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> um, Claws of the Night. Uh, Claws of the Night. Oh, would it Is that- be... Nightmare on Elm Street. Like yes. Oh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Good stuff. Good. That was a Fuck tricky yeah. one. Because I was thinking an animal for sure. I was like, tiger. Mm. So for uh, Dicko and Billy, this one's yeah. it's on superhero movies. Similar question though. Uh, sometimes when they're released overseas, they're given different uh, names. For example, Captain America was titled Big... Well, it was actually Captain Big Badass in uh, India. So give me the superhero movies from the foreign title translations. The Steely Protector... Yep. Digo. Iron Man. Correct. Good. Oh, I it was me. Steely Man. <laughs> Interplanet- interplanetary unusual attacking team. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Digo. Guardi- Guardians of the Galaxy. Correct. Yeah. Well, nice. Okay. I, mean, I thought it was Avengers. Yeah. Night of the Night. Night of the Night. Would it not be the old B Man? Batman, Dark Knight. Go for it. What would, would it be like? I want the the, the, the specific actual film. specific Dark Knight. Dark Knight's correct. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Let's go. And a trickier one. These two, the smaller they get, become stronger. Oh yeah, the little shrinky oh. guys. Oh yeah. Ant Man. Or- yeah, yeah. It's a specific go answer, it. isn't it? Go it. Ant Man. Yeah. Is there a, is there a, I, I think is there oh, that's, oh, the actual oh, okay. flick. Oh, no, we're not allowed to snake. The flick. We're not allowed to snake him, are we? The mm. flick. <clears throat> ah, Isn't it that Ant- he's... Ant-Man the musical. <laughs> can we, it's Ant-Man the musical. Can we, can we snake him? No. You, you can't. No. But, but what would you say? I don't... Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Oh, so like a sorry, because it's these two. Oh, no, I'm joking. Ant-Man. I didn't hear the two. Ant-Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there well, you go. Okay. People did quite well on that round. Ruby, c- can we talk about the secret... Um, Convers- like the secret chat that you're in? Oh, the fart group? We're yeah. not allowed to say what it's called. Okay, okay. Okay. What's the, what's the idea behind it? <laughs> the idea behind it is that you are only ever allowed to send farts into it and nothing else. Just farts. Like audio recordings audio, of farts. Yeah, like you, for the, you know, those playing along at home, basically <laughs> so this is the chat, right? Um, so you is, communicate. And then you go like that and you go <laughs> and then you send it in. And you just, that's all it is. Is it, if you, if is you it talk, Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. But yep. if you do send one in, um, I think the beauty of it is like, you know, the worst part about a fart is the smell. So this one's just all funnies because it's, a, yeah. it's just the sound. <laughs> and um, yeah, we, we, there's like at least like five to 10 submissions a day. And, and you, it's like 30 random people. I don't know half of them. And you've given them all their own little nicknames. Well, everyone gives themselves a nickname, but I've, I've named at least 10 people. What it's, a sh- it's a shame it's not on Twitter because someone could be Elon Musk. Oh, that is really good. I really want to call someone Brown Mist next. I'm just waiting for someone to get at it. Maybe that can be you. Yes. Please, yeah. Oh, please add me as yeah, yeah, Brown, yeah. Brown Mist. That's yeah. like, it's also a superhero name, kind of. Yeah. Exactly. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Eamon doesn't fart. Oh, I oh. do. <laughs> <laughs> he said before he's chock full. He's ready to go. I'm full of farts. All right. Yeah, uh, on that note. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you an update on scores. Uh, Zach and Ruby are on 105 points. Billy and Dicko, 55 points. How did we do that? What? How did we lose points? But it, Oh, by getting them incorrect, <laughs> you lose points. No. Oh, shit. Sorry, yeah. I thought, uh, <laughs> it's all to play for. I thought it was uh, very stagnant. The, uh, okay, well, that's fine. Well, I think we, we, we were, we were, were crawling like big, back. Were big points then for, that ans- for those answers? It was 10 for correct, minus 5 for wrong. Oh, minus. Yeah. You're minusing points. So yeah. how, mm. Okay, that's so, huge. For the mole, yeah. yeah. My goodness. So you, you got to keep your eye on anyone who's like just throwing out a random answer. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to get into the final round, which is the quick fire round. Here we go. Oh, quick fire. Quick fire. 
Uh, yeah, it's quick fire. <laughs> As I said. <laughs> 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 Not much. Yeah. A correct answer will get you 20 points. An incorrect answer will lose you 20 points, though. Oh, so yeah. nice. the, um, shit. So Hectic. We, we're all got the finger on the pulse here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fingers on buzzers. Okay. okay. And I'm going to get some stre- stressful music, too. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. stressful. Yeah. Dude. It's very stressful. That. Okay. Here we go. Let's Where, get into it. Where's the stressful music? Okay. Here it comes. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you stressed? Beginning with K, what is the best selling mayonnaise brand in Japan? Kipi. Oh, oh, sorry. To go. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called in a mosh pit where participants split in two halves and run against each other? Oh, Billy. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> are we are we respecting the press? I didn't uh, yeah. respect it just Let's then, sorry. Press and then wait. Press and wait. Yeah. Press and wait. No, it's well, serious. <laughs> one of the most dangerous cosmetic surgeries, what does BBL stand for? Ruby. Um Wait, 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 wait. Brazilian butt lift. Oh yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> Big bash. Thank lead. God. According to the song Hey Ya, what is cooler than being cool? Dicko. Ice cool. I can't oh. hear you. Ice cold. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Which type of tooth in the human mouth gets its name because of its resemblance to a dog's fangs? Billy. Oh, I got to call it on you. The Sorry. Ca- <clears throat> canine. It, it was canine. That's so. what I was going to say. Oh, well. <laughs> in 1955, uh, which film do we have title characters famously having an accidental kiss while sharing a bowl of a spaghetti? Oh, Dicko. Lady in the Tramp. Correct. Yeah, nice. Beginning with R, what is the name of the popular Pilates apparatus designed to help excel? Oh, Dicko. Reformer. Correct. (laughs) Beginning with N, what is the name of the action of fitting an arrow against a bowstring? Beginning with N. N. Knocking, like knock, knock your arrows. Well, I was going to say knocking, but I thought it started with K. K. No, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> which pizza on the Domino's menu was named after an island? Dicko. Hawaiian. Yeah, correct. Huck. Beginning with S, what is the name of the high necked garment famously worn by the Wiggles? Dicko. Skivvy. Correct. Wow. What percentage is equal to one fifth? Dicko. 20. What, yes. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> which I thought co- you were the mole cunt. <laughs> 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 Which country is famous for producing the best cigars in the world? Dicko. Cuba. Correct. Wait, fuck. <laughs> Which fin- it's he's old. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Anyone can get this one. Which Finnish DJ had a hit in 1999 with the song Sandstorm? Zach. Three. Correct. One. <laughs> in tennis scoring, what word describes the situation of a player winning a point from juice and therefore being just one point away from winning a game? Ah! Sorry. Dicker. Match point. No, advantage. Oh. Oh. Yes! Yes! Beginning with S, what is the name of the act of removing the husk and preparing corn to be eaten? Dicker. Shelling. No, shucking. Is oh. what shucking! In which shucking co- corn. I'm yeah. shucking shit at me. In which country would you find the Amalfi Coast? Dicker. Italy. Correct. What, what name beginning with D are false teeth also known by? Dicko. Dentures. Correct. Because he's got them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking take him out and give you a good gum in a minute, you cheeky little bitch. <laughs> we need the, where's the tense music? <laughs> <laughs> Beginning with S, what is the name for a tattoo design that covers an entire arm? Zach. Sleep. Nice. Correct. Which cartoon is associated with the phrase, we love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other? Cartoon? I'm not sure. Mm. No? Oh, it's Madeline. No. Oh, that. Last question. In terms of employment, what does FIFO stand for? Come on. Oh, he's too How do you know quick, who pressed it he? first? Are you just looking? No, it comes up. See, three. Oh, um, oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Blaming the buzzer is a very... <laughs> <laughs> class, classy move. Classy yeah. move. Yeah. All right. Ask the class. <laughs> Can everyone grab their uh, uh, boards and write down who they think the mole is? Yep. Just, okay. just, just write down who you think the mole might be. Okay. 
I okay, just for the, for the record, I think that I feel like it's either. Oh wait, let me just add up the points. Let me see how everyone went. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was, I was, I thought it was one of the hockey dad uh, boys as the mole. I think, I think it might be Zach, but we'll see. We'll see. Mm, okay. I think we were working too hard together. I would feel really betrayed right now. If the mole. <laughs> 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 I think we were trying way too hard. I know. <laughs> Can we all do a show our signs? Well, we'll do it one at a time. So okay. Dicko first, who do you, who do you accuse of being the mole? Oh, uh, mainly because I just don't know. I really can't pick. It. Harder to pick than a broken nose, this one. So I just had to eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and we caught a Billy by his toe. Oh, oh Billy. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I originally thought Billy, but the fact that he didn't know the exact name of A Team by Ed Sheeran put me off. Yeah. Because if he loved it, he would know. But anyway. Yeah, true. Maybe that, he's a, he, maybe that he's one a got me. Mom. That one got me too. I thought... For a second, I thought I was the mole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was true. <laughs> when I couldn't get the brontosaurus thing, I was like, fuck. Oh, gosh. Shit is on the mole. B- Billy, who'd you, who'd you put down as a mole? I feel big dicko. Dicko. <laughs> yeah. Just because I feel like you actually love Tina Turner, man. Yeah, yeah I reckon I you like love the bullshit. fucking nut wow. bush. Yeah, I but that's did you not why. spot all of those questions I got right well, at the end? Well, that, <laughs> I know, I did yeah. see that. That's, 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 that's you trying to like, like spin us all yeah, out. That's what, I mean. that's what put me off. There was, there was one I know you knew the answer to as well. That was the one of, where was it McCabe or um, McCain or um, Seagal was like, my son's a nerd. And you were like, it's got to be Seven Seagal. I was like, you know it's not. Mm, good point. Good point. Zach, what did you have? I had Ruby just because of that King's Ruby? Leon comment. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, okay. I've seen okay. you do that karaoke before or something. But maybe Definitely not. Wow. It's always Evanescence bring me to life. <laughs> <laughs> Wake me up. And okay. um, I, had di- go, I had Dicko as well. Okay. Well, there's been an outright accusation for Dicko. Now, let me know how you, I'll, I'll let you know how the scores are. Zach and Ruby, 165 points. Oh, Billy and Dicko, 235 <laughs> points after that final Dicko, round. That was great. What wow. a change. Yeah. So that means if Dicko is the mole, he's unsuccessful because he's on the winning team. Okay. Oh, so you Dick- might have swayed too, lo- too much. Yeah. He side. doth protest too much. Dicko, <laughs> uh, are you the mole? Duh. Mm, no. Whoa. I'm not. What? That's crazy. I am definitely not. Are you the fucking mole? Are you the fucking mole? Okay. Okay. You well, you okay. Well, it, it's you not you little fucking snake. Are you kidding? Are you snake the mole? Mole. Wait, wait, <coughs> Billy, are you the mole? I definitely had a player card, eh? Oh, yeah. I I want to be the mole. You were a player. I was a player. Oh my god. Yeah. So. So who is it? Ru- Ru- okay. The only other person who was uh, <laughs> accused of being a mole was Ruby. Ruby, I'm are you a mole? Fu- and I'm not the fucking mole. <laughs> Th- you that w- are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we connected on that ax- that axolotl thing. The good news <laughs> is I love Toxic by Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> so Zach is the mole. Well, well done. Thank you. I when think- you. When we got axolotl, that was when my brain went. He can't be the mole. Like he can't be. I think you might be one of the first people to be a successful mole really? and have absolutely nobody uh, wow. pick you at all. Do you know why you played that so well? I told you you're so mysterious. Well. Good. Mysterious. The, the mystery. Yeah. It's all you there. Did, yeah, got did, you played that much. beautifully, sir. Thank wow. You. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. But what were you trying to get wrong? Like, I never even saw you trying well, to Well, I didn't have to do anything. anything at the end. Dicko kept buzzing me out. I was just like, <laughs> sweet, he's taking it over. See, what, what threw me off too is that you, you came in with the great nightmare uh, yeah, on Elm Street. Yeah, you got right? Yeah. You got Wait, off the because scent. we got less That's points, good. does that mean we win? It means I win. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know what else it means, Ruby? It means they win. It means Zach wins. And it means and, I lose. And the only loser. <laughs> <laughs> right. The only Luther. Luther. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is the uh, the hockey fields uh, tour going to after Brisbane? There's a bunch of shows. Perth, Melbourne, and Sydney. Wrap it up. Fantastic. And, yes. Yep. I'm that, say something. You probably should know. Oh, <laughs> no, t- tickets say. available for Perth. Yeah, Anything else? Sold out. Oh, that's, congrats. That's, that's what I should oh, no, There's a few seats left for Sydney. Couple it's uh. All ages up in the top seating mm. area. 
Really? What, so you allowed people my old, as old as me? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There's no cap on the age. <laughs> my, my niece is actually coming to that show, but I told my sister, I was like, it's a very inappropriate set. I don't know. Really. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? Well, just, what are you doing? Just like we just we're, we're playing a new song that says the word continent, and I just feel like I don't want my niece to. I don't know. I've heard Dicko like say it about fourteen times. <laughs> yeah, I know. Last but, hour. Yeah, but they'll cut that out, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about Dicko we've noticed is he says bitch a lot. Um, I love bitch. Yeah, I it's think great. Fucking hilarious. He uses it well. When you called me a cheeky bitch before, I was like, that was great. <laughs> great. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. Uh, um, Dicko, what have you got coming up? Where can we follow you? Ah, uh, you can't actually. I'm I'm pretty much unfollowable, which is good. That's just the way I like it. Right now, at this time in my life, I don't want fucking people following me around. Yeah, it's creepy. So don't follow me. All so right? you're the follower you might, now. Yeah, I'll follow other people in a, in a in a surreptitious fashion, but ultimately, I might end up on one or two of these, and possibly even the odd. Uh, not on your rider. Yeah. One of your shows. So. Yeah. We love having you. And I might be at some young people rock and roll shows from time to time. I've yeah. heard. You never know. Yeah. Still waiting for you to come yeah. to one of mine. I'll be there at some point. <laughs> Just when you're playing Just with a better band. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well done to uh, Billy and Dicko yeah. for winning. Oh. Massive well done to Zach yeah, for being the real winner Thanks, tonight. Uh, and uh, <laughs> shout out to <laughs> Rudy for pleasing. For coming along. Yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> yeah. It's the one that had the most fun, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what's important. It still wasn't me. Did you have something to say? No. Thanks for listening to Game On Mole. Catch you next time. Fucking you! Yeah!